Hi, I'm Dr. Ted and this is Fracture Friday. For this episode I have a two bone forearm fracture in a pediatric patient. So that creates a different kind of dynamic and this fracture actually shows something that's very interesting in orthopedics that I thought would be interesting for you to hear about as well. So this is the AP of a two bone forearm fracture and you can see the fracture line on both of these and it's not that impressive really. But when you look at the lateral and you can see that his arm is about as crooked as a dog's back leg, that becomes a little more impressive. So, what do we do with this? Well, for kids, you know, we don't really want to, they still have growing bones, they still have growth plates at the top and the bottom of every bone, so we don't really want to put hardware in there if we can avoid it. If we do put hardware in, it's typically more flexible titanium rods, and I may have a case about that later, but we'll see. So. This is basically treated with what's called close reduction application of a cast. So, if, if the fracture requires that the patient undergo a close reduction, meaning that the fracture has to be pushed back in place, especially for a form of fracture, you get a long arm cast. Why do you get a long arm cast? Well, you get a long arm cast because we need to isolate the forearm. And the forearm can, what we call supinate, like holding a cup of soup, soup and pronate. So in order to alleviate or to immobilize the forearm, we have to lock the elbow to the proximal aspect of the humerus with a long arm cast. Okay, so this gets a close reduction application long arm cast. Now what's interesting about this particular fracture is once we reduced it, he still has a bow on the lateral x-ray. This is the AP which makes the bone look like it's dead straight. Okay, so then now this is the lateral. So the lateral still has a little bit of a bow to the radius. Well, why is that? Well, that's interesting, and that's what I wanted to talk about. This is what we call plastic deformation, meaning that in the pediatric bone, because the bone has a very high modulus of elasticity, the bone can bend before it breaks. So then when we put it back together, it still has that bend in it. Luckily, God has us covered for this, and kids will grow a bone out straight at about five degrees per year. So it really doesn't make any difference. Why time this child is 18 will never know he broke his arm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.